Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Tag and Target. Today we will discuss a problem, find all duplicates in an array. Before starting with the video, do subscribe my YouTube channel Tag and Target for daily programming questions and do press the bell icon also. Now we will see the problem statement. Given an array of integers where elements ranges from 1 to n where n is the size of an array. Some elements appear twice and other appears once. Find all elements that appear twice in this array. We will see the example. We have 432-78231. From this example, we can clearly see that here 3 appeared twice as well as 2. Therefore, we will return 2 and 3. We will solve this problem using two approaches that is using sort function and without using sort function. First of all, we will see the first approach that is using sort, app, uh, using sort function. So our algorithm. First, we will sort our array then we will iterate the loop from 0 to n minus 1, then we will check whether the element present at index is equal to the element present at index plus 1. If it matches, then we will increment our index by 2 and store the element present at given index in the array list. Otherwise, we will increment the index by 1. Finally, we will return the array list. Now we will see the example 432-78231. First of all, we will implement our array list. Then we will sort our array that is 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 7, 8. Now we will see the dry run. For index 0, here the element present at index 0 is not equal to the element present at index 1. Therefore, we will increment the index by 1 that is index becomes 1. For index 1, here the element present at 1 is, not equal, is equal to the element present at index 2. Therefore, we will increment the index by 2 that is index becomes 3 and we will add the element present at index 1 in our array list therefore we will add 2 into our array list. For index 3 here the element present at index 3 is equal to the element present at index 4 therefore we will increment our index by 2 that is index becomes 5 and we will add the element present at index 3 in array list that is we will add 3 to our array list so list becomes 2 comma 3. For index 5 here the element presented index 5 is not equal to the element presented index 6 therefore we will increment the index by 1 that is index becomes 6. For index 6 here num here the element presented index 6 is not equal to the element presented index 7 therefore we will increase the uh, index by 1 that is index becomes 7. So at last we can see that our array list has two elements that is 2 and 3. So we will return our array list and it will return 2 and 3. So now we will see the code. First of all we have implemented our array list. Now uh, we will find the length of our uh, array. Then we will sort the array. Then we will iterate the loop from 0 to n minus 1. In that we will check whether the element present at index e is equal to the element present, uh, present at index e plus 1. If it so, we will add the element present at index e into our array list and, and increment the uh, index by 2. Otherwise, we will increment the index by 1. At last, we will return our array list. Time complexity of this solution is big O of L log n and space complexity is constant that is big O of 1. Now we will optimize our time complexity use, uh, without using sort function. So let's see the algorithm. When find the number i, flip the number at position i minus 1 to negative. If the number at position i minus 1 is already negative, then i is the number that occurred twice. Then finally we will return our array list. So we will see the example 432-78231. First of all, we will implement our array list. Now we will see the dry run. For index 0, first of all, we are finding uh, the absolute index by putting the element presented index 0 minus 1. That is the element presented uh, index 0 is 4. So 4 minus 1 is 3. Now we see whether the element presented index 3 is negative or not. If it is negative, if it is not negative, therefore we will change it to negative like uh, num3 equal to minus num3 and for index 1 we will apply the same procedure as for index 0. 
Now for index 2, here also first of all we are finding the absolute index by putting the element present at index 2 that is that is 2 minus 1 becomes 1. For, uh, for the element, now we will see the element presented index 1 is negative or not. Here also the element is not negative, therefore we will simply change it to negative. For index 3, uh, here also we are finding the absolute index and applying the same procedure as for index 2 as well as for index 4. Now we will see for index 5. Here, first of all, we are finding the absolute index by putting the element presented index 5. Therefore, the element presented index 5 is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is 2 minus 1 that is 1. Now, we will see whether the element presented index 1 is negative or not. Here, the element presented index 1 is minus 3. Therefore, it is negative. So, we will add index plus 1 into our array list that is list becomes 2 and change it to negative like this and array becomes this. For index 6, we will apply the same procedure as for index 5. First of all, we will find the absolute index by putting the element presented index 6 that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We will absolute uh, this value that is 3 minus 1, 2. Now we will see whether the element presented index 2 is negative or not. Here we will see that minus 2 is negative. Therefore, we add index plus 1 into an array list that is 2 uh, that is we will add 3 so our list becomes 2 comma 3 so then we'll change it to negative that is num2 is equal to minus 2 for index 7 first of all we'll find the absolute index here as the same processor we have applied for other indexes then we'll see whether it is negative or ne non negative so finally we will return the array list that is uh, that is here the list have two elements that is 2 and 3. Now we will see the code. First of all we will implement our array list then we will iterate the loop from 0 to uh, 0 to the array length. Then we are finding the absolute index by this formula. Now we are checking whether the element presented that index is negative or not. If it is negative then we will add index plus 1 into our array list other and then we will negative the value present at that index and finally we will return our, our array list time complexity of this solution is big of n now we will run both of our codes both of our codes into com on compiler first of all we will run our first code that is using sort function we will copy it we will run our code into our lead code compiler. We will run it. And our solution has been accepted. Now we will submit this code. You can see that the runtime is 24 millisecond. Now we will run our second code. That is without using sort function. We will run it first. Here the solution has been accepted. Now we will submit it. Here the runtime is 5 milliseconds. So we can clearly see that our second solution is much better than the first one. So you can apply both of the solutions. But according to the question. Here, uh, here it has been asked that we have to run it in big O of n runtime mm -hmm. and so it is better to apply the second solution. So uh, thanks for watching my video. Do like and share. Till then stay tuned with Tech and Target for daily programming questions. Thank you everyone.